So here we have a 2012 Isuzu in series. So we've got a Bluetooth scan tool here. You can just uh, plug it into the OBD2 port. So you'll see up there this OBD2 port, because this is a 24 volt, it has a little bit of plastic in the middle. Our Bluetooth des uh, tool is designed to take that, so it has a gap in the, in the middle as well. So just want to plug it into there. Like so, and like this will work on any 2010 plus like N series um, as a running the cam protocol. So we can use a, a standard Bluetooth a scan tool and just an app. So once it's like plugged in, we just need to uh, pair it to our phone and then open the app up. So we've got the uh, the Bluetooth OBD2 a scan tool plugged in. We're just using Car Scanner Pro here, so it's called Car Scanner like EA. BLM OBD2, which you just uh, download from the Play Store or the or like the App Store if you have an Apple phone. If you're on an like, Apple phone, you don't try and uh, uh, pair it in Bluetooth. You just uh, pair it in here. So choose uh, like Bluetooth and like, make sure that the correct device name is is like, chosen. So OBD dash Oz. If you're on an Android, you just need to connect to it onto Bluetooth. Um, so you go blow Bluetooth and choose it, and the password is just one two three four. So that's all good. We're going to press connect. Uh, I can turn the truck on. And you can see we're connected here. It's all good. Started up, you can see the RPMs coming in. Um, and you can also see all the voltage you're picking, uh, sorry, all the data you're picking up here. Mass airflow rate, fuel rail pressure, uh, uh, cat temps. The boost so that gives you a bit, a, a bit of an idea of the data you can see also you would be able to read the trouble codes if there was any trouble codes coming up and clear clear like engine fault codes so only engine fault codes So it's just scanning all the systems here. So this tool will go into sleep mode, so you can unplug it when you plug it in. So that'll work on all Isuzu N series 2010 and like newer. So it'll allow you to view live engine data and also check and clear engine fault codes. So handy little tool to like leave plugged in or leave in the glove box. And this is just finishing up a full scan here. I don't think it'll find any faults. There's no lights are on, so that's all good.